Okay, well, we're dead. But <laughs> what I was going to say is I'm glad it's not, like, telling us how to run and how to jump and every little thing like that. Like, bro, it's fine. I'll figure it out. I promise. It'll be okay. Yep. Hello! Hello, friends! Howdy, everyone! Hey, Rune, Noodle, Nate, anyone else that may be here just hanging out, not, uh, not participating in the chat at the moment. I appreciate y'all being here. Hello, hello! Uh, let's see. We are not doing that. We are going to be on break whenever we go back to that. We're not doing that now, though. Um, what the hell is this? Okay, so Strike Force Bowling. That's what we're playing tonight. What is Strike Force Bowling? Uh, I don't know, ma'am. I have no clue. It, <laughs> it, it looks like they tried to m take bowling and make it more interesting, which, I mean, look, I'm all here for it, right? Because, don't get me wrong. IRL, I like bowling, man. Bowling in real life is, it's fun, you know? It's a good time. But bowling in video games... Eh, eh. You know what I mean? Like, don't get me wrong. Uh, there's some decent ones. Like the Wii Sports Bowling was pretty fun. You know, like I had, I definitely had fun with that one. But most of them are just kind of meh. <laughs> like just, just really, really meh. So like, yeah, I don't know, man. Uh, okay. So look. I'm on Windows 11 now, as I've mentioned. How do I get... There it is. Okay, the sound menu up, because I need to turn up my capture card audio. Uh, no, I don't. It's on its usual, so this game must just be quiet. Okay, so anyways. <laughs> you say Let's Go Bowling is fun? I don't remember that one. Wii Bowling, yes. Wii Sports Bowling is fun. I agree with Noodle and Nate on that one. That one's pretty good. Uh... And then, I, if I remember correctly, one of the Tekken games had uh, bowling in it, and me and my cousin used to play that, so, like, that was fun. I guess we'll just do, what, open play first, right? You didn't play the Harry Potter on the Game Boy? That one was super fun. Wait, there was a Harry Potter bowling game on the Game Boy? For real? <laughs> like, I did not know that, man. Pick up a 7 to 10 split in practice to unlock this bowler. Close. Okay, unlockable characters. That's neat. We got a skeleton. I'm guessing that's like an alien or something. We got a robot. Uh, we got Sung Mi. John. Just, just John. Okay. Bambi. Marianne. Diego. And that's, that's it for the characters. Is there anyone in particular you guys want me to pick? I wish there was a random because I would just totally click that. You need to get a Wii or Nintendo Sports or something. I want to get the new one for the for the Switch, but I, uh, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> like, don't get me wrong. The the Wii Sports was a lot of fun, but, like, I'm not breaking out my Wii to play it, though, either. You know what I mean? Also, guy, 42. Girl, 28. Girl, 18. Guy, 54. Girl, 19. I'm just saying. <laughs> <laughs> I think I know who made this game. <laughs> Anyways, Laura Croft looking girl. Who's the Laura Croft looking one? God, I am still stuffed up, man. Is it is it Bambi? Is it Marianne? Or who was the other one? Sung Sung Me. Which one's which one's the Laura Croft looking girl? Would it be fair it was a minigame in it? one of the story games we used decapitate decapitated ghost heads as the balls dude that sounds pretty that sounds pretty sick i like that that sounds fun can i use a decapitated head as a bowling ball not like irl don't come looking for me nsa uh i guess okay our name um edit okay <laughs> i thought maybe we could just like start spinning it but no no we gotta we gotta click the button first i guess uh, R E. Nope. Okay. Not not going left. We're just gonna freeze up on this menu. That's that's cool too. Game. You're putting on a good show here. Uh. Do we just triangle? Nope. Triangle canceled. Okay. <laughs> Let's try that again. There must be an enter button somewhere that I uh that I didn't see. E A. Oh, there's an end over there. Okay. So end is probably what we want to click on. 
end. There we go. Do we have any points? No. Can we remove points to get points? We can. Let's just play balanced, I think, right? Just, just keep it balanced for now until we figure out, like, if we want to do any other any other stuff with 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 them i guess i don't know man nearly headless nick's death day party really that's fun that's fun and that was on the game boy one for real that's great man i've had the itch to play some harry potter games i watched a video on like uh, the differences between all of the harry potter one games and yeah it's make me want to play uh i guess we'll add a cpu bowler Let's do, uh, John. <laughs> just, just John. He'll be on normal. And then, uh, play game. Oh, okay. We get to select our stage. We have, you know, classic bowling alley. Pirate ship. Uh, oasis. Egyptian thing. Castle. Spaceship. Old timey town. And, uh, Asian inspired okay <laughs> uh egypt egypt one i'm down to do the egypt one or japan uh you, you can't pick two how am i supposed to know which one to do god i'm gonna die man i can't my stuffy nose just won't go away don't get me wrong i feel like a million times better but the stuffy nose will not end man nate i need you to pick one i would ask noodle but noodle's terrible at making decisions <laughs> We got we got the the Asian inspired and we got Egypt. Which one we going to? I mean, I feel like Nate would probably pick the Asian inspired one, but I don't know. I don't know, man. It's all down to you. Egypt noodle act. Oh god. Oh god. You guys would do this. Oh god. Okay, we're flipping a coin. Egypt. Egypt. Okay. Fuck. Thank you, Chocobo. <laughs> Egypt. It is, man. Let's fucking go. I'm gonna bowl the shit out of Egypt, man. Now, I have no idea, like, if this one is realistic, like that last one that we did. Um, the last bowling game, I mean, that we did. Or if it's just, like, stupid. Like, <laughs> like, arcadey, or if it's, or if it's realistic. I have no idea, man. I also saw that there was a golf mode. I don't know if that means, like, golf scoring. Or if it means, like, you can play golf. I have, I have no idea, man. Okay, we can, we can move back and forth a little bit. We can change the pound of our stone. Uh, light, they have names. Light Slammer, Eliminator, Big Strike, The Blue Monster, Lightning, Bone Crusher, uh, Paradise Hammer. For a second, I thought that said Parasitic Hammer. I said, that's, that's a weird, that's a weird name for a ball, man. <laughs> it's a coconut. It's Coors Liquid. Uh, there's a pumpkin. I feel like that wouldn't roll so well. I don't know. The World Destroyer. Its cover is made of mud. Its core is made of magma. <laughs> okay, so I'm guessing this game's going to lean more toward the whole uh, arcade -y experience. I mean, I could be wrong, but I'm just... <laughs> I'm just guessing here, man. Gunslinger, Strike Master, Inferno. Okay. Uh, I don't know, man. Let's go with the World Destroyer. It's heavy. I don't know how that's going to affect affect us here. I mean, we have, like, average strength, right? Okay, so we, we can change how we throw the ball. Can we move, like, right and left? We can, but all that's doing is changing the angle that we're... That we're... Rolling the ball at. Can we, like... Okay. That's weird, man. Like, I would think the whole line would go over, but it looks like we're all... I don't know. Hold on. What happens if we just hit X? Okay, and then from here, we can change. I don't know if I like this system of... Uh, <laughs> this system of shooting here, man. This is this is weird. Um, okay, tell you what. Let's, like, go here-ish. And then... Oh, okay. That that was good. Shooting right there, man. We That was... Mm-hmm professional bowlers here <laughs> okay let's try this again let's step over a little bit all right let's move this like like down here i think we might have moved a little bit too far over i don't want to change my ball i want to go back there we go okay step over a little bit more actually thank you 
And then, okay, we want to shoot, like, basically straight, but with a lot of curve. Okay, and then, so wait, we hit X around there, and then X. Okay, that was better, right? Not, not perfect, but better. That bar moves fucking fast, dude. You really gotta, like, hit it good. And watch, this guy's just gonna fucking strike it. Told you, called it, knew it, man. Trash. You know what would be fun? <laughs> they need to make, like, a mini putt-putt version of bowling, right? Because, like, regular golf games, nothing against them. But then you have mini golf games, like golf with your friends. And those are fucking great, you know? Because they're just stupid fun. They need to do something like that, but for... But for, uh bowling man like the i don't know put some obstacles in the way put a, give me give me like a course that's not straight so i gotta like go uh know, up a hill and, and balance a ball up there and then shoot down a hill or or do a loop or something i don't fucking know man give me some jumps to do <laughs> they are though wait what do you mean they are though like there did you mean there are though or mini golf games are fucking great is that is that what you're agreeing to oh i meant to change the spin on my ball uh am i gonna good i got it okay at least we got a fucking spare dude i will take what i can get mini golf yes yeah the mini golf video games are a ton of fun man love them although mario strikers i think it's called right the new mario golf game that one looks like a lot of fun i do i do want to play that one i've heard pga tour I think that's the new the new golf game, right? I've heard that one's pretty fun too, but uh, I don't know. I haven't played a golf game since probably GTA <laughs> 5 had like a golfing game that you could do or whatever. Mario Strikers with soccer. Then what's? Oh, it's probably just called. It's just Mario Golf, isn't it? That's that's probably what it's called. That that would make sense. <laughs> Mario Strikers might be soccer slash football. I don't remember, man. There's too many too many things to keep track of there you go okay so i'm thinking i'm thinking i'm thinking it's called mario golf but it looks fun i remember watching some people playing it and it had things like uh like uh oh that accuracy though fucking perf dude uh we suck ass i remember having things like where you like a speed mode or whatever where like you gotta you gotta hit the ball but then you gotta chase down your ball but everyone else is also doing that and shit like it looks it looks great honestly uh okay so let's just shoot like here ish maybe some something like this i think okay that wasn't that wasn't terrible hey we'll take it we'll fucking take it you were looking at the fandango app and it looks like a time we can see the movie is 7 p.m okay yeah 7 p.m works love I'm taking her, I forget when, what is, is it next week or is it the week after? But, uh, we're going to see the new Jurassic World movie whenever it comes out. Just cause like the Jurassic Park slash world stuff is her, her favorite things in the world. <laughs> she loves those movies. You got two ticket codes? Wait, what are the ticket codes? Is it like 50% off or something? Not 50% off, but like a couple dollars off or something do we have to buy the tickets online oh god we we probably need to like plan this stuff a little bit why i would think the red line would more closely follow the little thingy that i'm moving around but like it doesn't seem to actually really do much anyways uh 72 is probably a bit much of a spin <laughs> maybe i don't know why it went up so high maybe i was holding the button and not paying attention let's try 35 Right, I'm trying to like get it to go in at an angle here because that's that's usually the way you want to do it of course with a core made of magma I don't know how that affects the physics it probably it probably fucks with things a little bit to be honest that was terrible um, I'm just happy we didn't go in the gutter because holy shit dude I was way in the red there all right same thing same thing basically just not quite so far over and maybe don't fuck it up uh yeah something like something like this i'm thinking there we go okay that wasn't too bad right on the right on the edge of the green and yellow we fucking suck <laughs> holy fuck okay 
We go play with animals, get food, and see movie. Yes, that is that is the plan. It's a late birthday going out for Noodle. I mean, technically, we already went out for her birthday, but she wanted, or she picked going camping. I don't think she really wanted to go camping, though. Let's let's be real here. But I had fun. <laughs> I liked the whole camping thing. Is it just me, or when he first threw that ball, was it not in the gutter? It looked like that was in the gutter, man. I think I think the, the computer here might be cheating just a little bit. Also, I feel like we're not getting enough spin. Let's, let's put like a 50% spin on this bitch, dude. Let's just fucking yeet it. Uh, there we go. Something like that. Get 100, and okay, that's in the red. <laughs> hey, our first fucking strike, dude. Let's go. By the turkey. The turkey was attacking her. <laughs> I just, I, I want to know what a turkey looks like, man. Not a turkey, a turkey. For some reason, it's like, it's a turkey crossed with Thursdays. And, like, Thursdays are okay days, you know? The weekend's coming up, but it's also, like, tired from, from existing and working throughout the, the rest of the week. I'm assuming they have a regular 9 to 5 weekday job. So, because if they don't, if it's just, like, a random schedule like what I work, then, I mean, it's just tired all the fucking time. It doesn't matter what day of the week it is. And on a Thursday, I don't know, man. On Thursdays, like, I'm probably just kind of... If I worked a normal, like, five-day straight job, right, weekday job, I'd probably just be kind of tired of the world at that point, though. Just kind of, like, pissed off at everything for, like, no reason. So, like, is that is that is that a turkey? Just a, a pissed-off turkey that also looks really sad and just doesn't want to deal with anything? Uh, that looked much better than it ended up going. I wonder if we need, like, a lighter ball or something, or maybe not so hitting it so hard. I don't know, man. We got that one strike. We'll probably never get another one again. I mean, this is about as good as I bowl in real life, though. So, like, <laughs> maybe it's a turkey. That's a thought. Maybe a thoughty, a th thoughty. Uh, wait, isn't a isn't a thoughty already a thing? Didn't like uh, Megan the Stallion make that a thing or whatever? Uh, shaking it for my thought shot. <laughs> thought turkey. So. What? It's a it's a turkey with like hair extensions and I'm not gonna generalize here <laughs> before I get myself in trouble. But <laughs> it's it's a turkey that's feeling themselves, okay? It's feeling themselves and that's not a bad thing. That's okay. That turkey that turkey should be proud of, of itself and the way it, it looks or whatever. Like, hey Mr. Noodle, thank you so much for the bits, love. I appreciate you. Also, slowly whittling down on the, the woo, the woo boss, the woo boss over there. That was like our second best shot yet, and I fucked up the, the accuracy so bad, man. Roo is currently sitting at 432 HP. Every time someone takes the, the, the boss up there, it's gonna get harder, by the way. I don't know if I ever mentioned that to you guys, but, uh, yeah. Every time someone new takes the spot, it becomes harder and harder to take the spot because the boss gets more and more HP. I feel like the trick is we need to start shooting more gently. I feel like we're shooting too hard. I'm going to I'm gonna try to shoot a little more gently on the next one. I wonder if that will also give us a little more uh, time to get the, the accuracy thing too. Ooh, that's a hell of a split, man. You gonna you gonna you gonna be able to get that there, Mr. John? <laughs> you thought you changed your profile pic though? You might have. Maybe it just didn't update yet or something. I don't know if like the way I don't know if it grabs it whenever you first become the boss, and then it like doesn't change until the next time you get it, or if it live is supposed to live update. I have no idea how how they have the the bit boss thing working. I didn't I didn't program that. That's just you know that's a uh, streamlabs thing okay so we're gonna we're gonna go for more gentle that did seem like it was might have been a little bit easier to to hit the accuracy thing we didn't get a strike but hell that's that's not bad one pin left maybe maybe this time we'll actually hit the fucking pin maybe i wouldn't i wouldn't get our hopes up too much uh not more spin maybe less spin <laughs> let's try that uh okay this is gonna be 
We just gotta we just gotta nick it. That's all we gotta do. It's just oh no, we were wanted to we wanted to throw gentle, not hard. I think I think we're good. Fucking knocked it out, boy. What is the ruling? Say you hit a pin, right? A bowling pin, and you smacked it hard. So like it hit the back wall, bounced, flipped back, and then landed straight up and down. Like what is what is the ruling on that? Is that a standing pin or do you get the point on it? Because you because like you knocked it over, but then it stood itself back up. I don't know how that would work, man. In a normal machine, I'm assuming it just wouldn't be grabbed, so then it would be knocked over. But like in this case, there's no machine here. They got some like dudes hiding behind that statue there or some shit. And they're just coming out every between every round, knocking shit over or picking shit up or whatever. What? How bad if we just max out the fucking spin, dude? What's it go to? 100%? 100 fucking percent spin. Okay, let's try it. I just want to know how, how bad that's going to be. Oh, that was that was also bad. Okay, that actually... Okay. <laughs> that, <laughs> that worked. <laughs> I'm 99% sure we're not going to replicate that. But uh, that worked. See, the thing is, from the little bit that I know about bowling, that's actually kind of how you want to hit it. I've been trying to hit it on the other side, but you don't want to hit it straight on. You actually want to hit it at a bit of an angle in towards the center. But because of uh, how narrow the bowling lane is, it's impossible to kind of throw a straight shot that goes down the optimal path between the pins. So what you want to do is curve it in using a bit of spin on the ball whenever you let go. Um, so that's what I've been trying to do, but like, hey, if we can just luck ourselves into getting a bunch of strikes, I'll take that too. Like, I, I won't be upset about that. All right, so the, the trick is 100% accuracy, or I'm sorry, not 100% accuracy, 100% spin and terrible accuracy. That's what we, that's what we want to do. That seems to be the money maker, man. Okay, look. <laughs> See, the problem is we, we had too much accuracy there. Our accuracy was too strong, man. I actually think we want to hit this one hard because we kind of want to, like, knock that one off into the corner there to try and take out the other one. So I think we got to do, like, the, the big power. Big money. Let's go. Ah, oh, fiddlesticks. <laughs> Fuck. Okay. Well, I mean... It executed the way I wanted it to. It just didn't, like, actually work. Every time the camera changes on that guy, it goes from, like, he's on the gutter to fucking striking it. Every fucking time. Cheating ass bastard, I swear. Fiddlesticks first, then fuck, yeah. It's called decency, Noodle. God. Fucking learn something. <laughs> About decency. Not just, like, anything in general. Although, you know what? Learn something, too. That's good. You should always, you should always be learning things, man. Everybody, we should all, all always be learning things. Look, I don't know. I'm just saying things at this point. Uh, that was our first match. I think we lost. I'm curious to see what the golf is. <laughs> is it a scoring thing or is it a, is it a, a game mode? I'm, I'm kind of hoping it's an entirely different game mode. Cause again, I like playing golf IRL. But, or golf, I like playing, I like bowling IRL, but like in video games, man, it's just kind of, you know, it is what it is. CP players cannot play in golf or practice. Oh, okay, that's fine. Whatever. We'll play all by ourselves then. I don't care. Uh, since we did Egypt last time, why don't we go ahead and load up the, yeah, the Asian inspired one. We'll go ahead and do that one. You'll read up on Maine Coon some more. Do it. Learn more about him. Noodle maybe found a lead on where to get a Maine Coon for, for cheap or free. Maybe. But, like, I'm trying to manage expectations here because when things seem too good to be true, oftentimes they're too fucking good to be true. So, like, <laughs> I'm just like, dude, chill a little bit. If it turns out that it's real, then yes, I'll let you get one early. As much as I don't want three cats right now running around the house, like, obviously, I'll let you get a $1,500 cat for free. But, like, yeah. Um, do we shoot this the same, or... 
why why are we literally throwing the ball like okay so the layout's different i see that so i have no idea what the fucking optimal way to shoot here is so here's what we're gonna do we're just gonna fucking shoot and see what happens i guess hole one par three so i'm guessing i'm guessing we have to knock them all down and that's how you get like a goal that was a good fucking shot though on my part as far as accuracy and shit goes okay 10 left so now i want to do like that okay, that was a decent shot okay okay we we might get par at least I feel like we probably don't need to hit it very hard. That wasn't a great shot. Is it gonna... Yeah, dude, we actually got fucking par, though. I'll take it. So it's laid out differently, and then it's using, like, golf-like... Oh, every round is laid out differently. Okay. Okay. I think I can... I can dig it. Hole two, par two? Par of two? Really? Really, though? I don't know... This one seems a bit tough to me, man. I don't know why. Uh, never mind. I lied. <laughs> Fucking hole in one, bitch! <laughs> oh. It, we're just fucking bowing at it. Like, <laughs> okay. It does seem a little too good to be true, but send all the positive kitty vibes. Yes, all the positive kitty vibes, guys. We need, we need all the positive vibes we can get for, for the kitty stuff. <laughs> Oh, God. Okay. Uh, there seems like there's a lot of fucking pins on here, but I don't know, man. We're just gonna, we're just gonna shoot and see what happens. Like, I don't see the point in putting that much thought into it. It's just, whatever happens is gonna happen anyways. Let's be real. Five left. Uh, okay. Shoot it this way. Like that. I keep meaning to throw it more gently, but like, I forget that I'm trying to throw it gently. And I end up just fucking yeeting it down the <laughs> down the, the lane here. Okay, we're going to aim like just to the right of that one because it should curve. Yeah, throw it real fucking gentle, dude. Uh, that was that was too gentle. <laughs> Fuck. Okay, look, throw it just a little bit harder. Maybe not 25% and maybe don't fucking suck with the accuracy uh, roll there too, man. Did you ever think of that? Also, nice gutter, two in a row, man. Why is it, like, curving so much now? I feel like it wasn't curving that much before, and we haven't taken it off 100% this whole time. There we go. And you fucking hit one for real? Okay. Look, here's what we're gonna have to do. Just take off the spin. Take it, take it all off, man. I don't know why it won't let you actually go to zero. It'd be nice if it did. We're losing all of the points that we got from that hole-in-one. Uh, that was probably a bit hard, but it's fine hopefully there we go do you notice if you watch the ball triple bogey fuck we suck if you watch the ball you'll see that at the beginning of the lane it actually just kind of like it doesn't roll it actually just kind of slides down the lane and then once it gets about three quarters of the way down suddenly it starts rolling that's actually how it works irl fun fact because they they oil up the the lanes so it's really slippery in the beginning but towards the end it gets uh like actual wood on ball contact so that's where like the spin of the ball actually matters the rest of the time it's just fucking rolling along and uh that's where like how strongly you throw the ball starts to matter too because like in the beginning it's just going to keep doing its thing but once it gets down there if you throw the ball super hard it's not going to have much time to spin before it just rams into whatever you hit it whereas if you throw it more gently it'll have a little bit more time um, but of course then it also won't be spinning as aggressively usually i guess if you're good you could probably control that or whatever but like let's be honest i'm not <laughs> i do feel like oh fuck we got one hell of a split here dude we might be fucked um okay get rid of all Ooh, not add more spin get rid of all the spin I think, I think we need to go back, go all the way over. <laughs> yeah, something like, something like that, dude. And then just fucking, uh, 
like hit it I don't know right right fucking here and hope for the best okay a little bit to the right is actually fine no that was what <laughs> why was it so to the right man that's not what I wanted to do holy shit okay I mean I know our aim was a little bit off but I didn't think it was that bad plus we had a little bit of spin to the left it seems like that's unavoidable okay try again gentle gentle that was way too far to the right dude we almost hit the other fucking one why why are we so bad what if we go over here and then like shoot it down that way does that work Can we do that maybe i'm trying to like draw that line out with my mind and uh that's not working so well nope that's a fucking gutter we're fucked <laughs> hey psycho what's up man haven't seen you in a while oh the cake thing broke a little on the bottom so be careful Noodle and I got her a cake for her birthday. It was a cookies and cream one. I wasn't a huge fan of it. Um, but anyways, but I, I was wanting some sweet stuff like last night or whatever. So I asked her if she wanted me to... Fuck! <laughs> uh, well, did I ask her if she wanted to fuck last night? I don't think so. Anyways, no. I asked her if she wanted a cake last night and uh, or, or a pie or something else. And uh, she kept mentioning the red velvet cake so I, that we almost got instead of the cookies and cream. So I ended up getting that. And it's it's okay. Honestly, I think I like just like regular sheet cake better than like this this fancy cake that we got. Because we got like one of the ones that you get like at a, a bakery. But like the prepackaged ones, not like a, a real bakery. It was, it was at a Walmart is where we got it just to give you an idea of what we got. Anyways, it's, it's okay. Like don't get me wrong, I like it. But the cream cheese icing doesn't seem to have like that much cream cheese taste to me, you know? And I like, I like, I don't know. I like my icing to have flavor to it, I guess. We're never going to hit this fucking ball, dude. This ball, this pin, this one pin is impossible for me to fucking hit. Oh, thank God we stroked out because <laughs> we would have been stuck on that forever. Uh, but anyway, so yeah, so we've been eating it. It's okay. It's okay. But I think I'd rather just have a sheet cake next time, like a red velvet cake sheet cake or homemade or boxed even or something i don't know just whatever ah uh, fuck we gotta split again okay well at least it's two pins two pins are easier to hit than one and if we're lucky it'll fucking one will hit the other i mean if our accuracy was a little bit better we might you know have more of a chance fuck <laughs> Oh, uh, God. Okay, what if we aim it, like, right here, maybe? And then go for the 50 and try to throw straight. Don't go in the gutter. No gutter, please. Oh, my God. We actually fucking did it. I am so proud of myself. So, what else has been going on in my life, man? Uh, we've been playing a lot of Stardew Valley. Noodle and I have. That's been a lot of fun. Um, I like that. Your goal is to hit it between either one and two or one and three. Uh, you mean the pins? Yes, but this isn't the standard layout of pins. This is golf mode. Uh, <laughs> I know I know how to bowl. I'm not any good at it, though. Uh, but yeah, this mode, every round has a random layout of pins. And, well, I mean, I'm sure it's, it's like repeats every time you play the mode or whatever. Uh, and then, like, you have, you know, par like you do in golf. So, like, through two throws is uh, is par. Uh, you know, one would be hole-in-one slash birdie. Three would be bogey, etc. So, yeah. It's, it's a little bit different way to play here. Too much spin. Way too much spin. You're about to win? I hope so, man. You got this. Uh, okay, so take off some of the spin because we can't get all of it gone. So let's just let's cut that down a little bit and then just shoot all the way just straight, man. And then should probably for the accuracy, maybe a little to the left is better than to the right. So, oh, that was hard. I didn't mean to hit it that hard. The accuracy is good. Thank fuck, dude. <laughs> oh. You might play on stream one day for you guys, but you complain a lot and get scared in the mind, says Noodle. She does. She does do both those things. <laughs> this is true. Hey, you did, man. You got it. Yeah, there's no way for you to lose now unless the CPU literally cheats, so. G fucking G, Psycho. 
All right, uh, I don't know. Do we put the spin back up? Let's put the spin back up, I guess. How many holes are there? We're on hole six. Are there nine? Or are there like eight? Or 18, I mean. Like how many, how many holes do we have to deal with here? Uh, that wasn't terrible. Can we just repeat the same thing, but from the other side, maybe? So get rid of some of the spin. I wish we could spin to the right. I don't know why it won't let us reverse the spin. I guess our bowler just can't do that. So aim it like here-ish, I guess. Maybe, maybe here. Let's go for that. Uh, okay, yep. Animal Crossing? No, Stardew Valley. Talking about Stardew Valley. It's, uh, I don't know if you've ever heard of it. it it's Animal Crossing adjacent, right? It's, it's not the same game, like not even a little bit, but it's the same sort of genre of just kind of chill games, you know? You just collect things and farm and make friends and whatnot. Harvest Moon is what it's based off of, if you've, if you've ever heard of that. That's, uh, you know, a, an older series. That's, that's very, very similar. I mean, it's the guy that made it, Eric Barone, just straight up admits like he was making a Harvest Moon knockoff as kind of a practice for programming. Um, but at some point he was like, hey, this is actually pretty good. Um, maybe I could turn this into a real thing. Um, okay, in this case, I don't know what to do. Because <laughs> uh, if I throw it straight down, I might hit the one in the middle. Now, if I hit it to, like, the side, it might take out the one in the back corner. But how would you hole-in-one this one? I don't think it's possible. I'm sure someone can do it, but I don't think I can fucking do it. Let's just, I don't know, let's just try to go for this one for now and then see what happens. Okay, that accuracy sucked. We might hit nothing. Okay, we hit... We hit one. And that was it. Did those fish just fly over? Or those are birds. Holy shit, dude. I'm insane. It's okay. I thought those were fish just flying above the, the fucking bowling alley here, dude. Uh, but yeah, so Noodle and I have been playing Stardew Valley a lot. It's been a lot of fun. I've really been enjoying it. I, I love Stardew Valley, and it has given us something to do together. Other than just like watching movies or whatever. Because like Noodle doesn't really play games and I, I do play games. Like that's one of my main hobbies outside of streaming and programming. Uh, pretty much gaming. Um, although we used to play Pokemon together. Like Pokemon card, the trading card game. We haven't done that in quite a while. We should, uh, we should totally get our decks together one of these days, love. And, and play some Pokemon TCG. This is a Z layout. Uh, I, again, don't know the best way to do this, so we're just gonna shoot and see what happens. I'm sorry, I'm not good enough. Love, you are insane. <laughs> no one said that, you weirdo. Uh, I don't know. Shoot here. See, see, see how that goes. Okay. I mean, we might be in the green. I think we're closer to the yellow. We took out one. God, we fucking suck. And go. Yeah, that wasn't good. I think we're going to go right down the middle without touching anything. We actually hit the one on the right. I am shooketh. Okay, accuracy was good. Now, did I fuck up the spin? No. Okay. So, I mean, that was still terrible. <laughs> it was a bogey. But, oh, dude, what? There's got to be a better way than just shooting straight down the line here. But I definitely don't fucking know it, so we're just going to fucking go for it. Mm-hmm. Yep, we took out a couple. <laughs> oh, fuck. Try that again, maybe. Maybe, like, here-ish? I'm trying to get the ones on the left side first. Is that the right move? Probably not, man. I don't know. Uh, that's a good gutter ball. GG me. What have you guys been up to, though? What have you guys been playing and, and doing and things, man? Because that's, that's basically it for me. <laughs> Other than streaming, I've been playing Stardew Valley with Noodle and working and being sick. Like, that's, that's all I've been doing with my life lately. 
But how about everyone else, man? Any cool games that you guys have uh, been playing really recently or anything? Dauntless? I want to play Dauntless one of these days. That's been out for a little while, hasn't it? Dauntless? I'm pretty sure, like, isn't hasn't that been out for a few years now at this point? I could be, I could be mistaken. Maybe I'm mixing it up with another game, but I feel like I remember hearing about that a few years ago. Yeah? Okay. I thought so. I thought so. I remember thinking it sounded cool whenever I first saw it, but I don't remember much more about it than, than that. <laughs> is it a uh, single player thing or is it like a multiplayer game? What kind of thing is it? I mostly do single player stuff these days, but I'm always curious. You've been playing Stardew Valley with this loser, you know? That sounds fucking lame, dude. Who wants to play Stardew Valley? <laughs> Joking, you <laughs> rude. Cyberpunk? I need to beat Cyberpunk one of these days. I was like, I was hyped for it. Not as hype as a lot of people were, but my brother was super hyped for it. And because of him, like I got, I got hyped by proxy, right? And then uh, I got it and it was pretty glitchy and whatnot, but like that was okay. You know, I can, I can deal with some glitches and shit. That wasn't the end of the world, but then like, I don't know. It just, it wasn't anything special, right? To me, it was just like, it was a good open world game but these days there's a lot of fucking good open world games so like you know what i mean like it just it didn't really end up scratching that itch that much so i had fun with it while i was playing it but there was nothing there to keep me wanting to keep playing it so i just kind of i just kind of stopped after a while but i do want to beat it sooner or later Hey, another fucking strike, dude. I don't know how the fuck I did that, but working mostly. People are idiots in IT, so there's always a need for call center like people. In Skyrim, for the most part, you think you might actually do something this time around you don't normally do? What's the thing you don't normally do that you're wanting to try this time? Cartoony Monster Hunter, but a little faster. That's what Dauntless is like. I don't remember if it was you or someone else, but now that you mention it that way, I feel like somebody was talking about it to me um, at work. I don't know if it was one of the guys in the department, if it was you, if it was someone else, but that sounds a lot more familiar now than it did a moment ago. Games you've been playing recently, Psycho, Madden 2002, and Major League Baseball featuring Ken Griffey Jr. So you like uh, sports games, I take it? I don't really play like sports games, man. Personally, I'm not, I'm not a huge sports person IRL. Like, watching-wise, I do like to play them, like, with, with friends, family, whatever, stuff like that. But, uh, I don't really play the video games or watch them. It's just never really been my thing. Um, and, and I also kind of suck at them, as I'm sure you can tell by my, my bowling skills here. Like, <laughs> fuck. <laughs> I can't even hit this one pin. Just hit the one damn pin. Please. Okay. Hey, we actually hit both. I am legit surprised about that. Psycho, like, oh, you can't get the job you want in IT because you don't have a stupid piece of paper or the college degree, but not to disparage college. Anyone who can graduate college is a better man, woman than me. That's not true, man. That's not true. I'm sure, I'm sure you can do it in the right setting. Um, cause here's the thing that I've learned at least, and this, this is my experience. Maybe not everyone agrees, but like schooling for me was weird. Like the, the setting for high school, middle school, uh, elementary school, stuff like that didn't work for me personally, like at all, man. But then the setting of the college that I went to worked very well for me up until a math class that I had. Or was it math or writing? I, I can't remember which one. Well, not a writing class per se, but we had to do a lot of writing assignments because that's what the teacher liked. It was actually a... Uh, I forget what the name of the, the class was, but it was it was like learning about different business stuff and uh, like mock interviews and all different kinds of stuff like that. But anyways, the way the teacher ran the class, we had to do a bunch of writing. Point is, <laughs> like high school, middle school, etc., the classroom experience was terrible for me. Get into college, and it was fucking amazing, dude. My grades went through the roof. I was having a fun time in college, etc. And then I get to that class, and all of a sudden, it just fucking... Like, I still got good grades. But my my enjoyment 
my participation, etc. fucking tanked. So honestly, I think, personally, it has more to do with finding the classroom that works for you, right? The classroom environment that works for you. Um, and, and, and yeah, that's, you know, partially down to luck, sadly. Uh, but maybe, like, online classes or something in that case would be a little bit better for you. I, uh, that's, uh... That's something that I wish was a little more common whenever I went to college, because I think I would have liked that sort of environment a fair bit as well. Sports games, those games are on emulator on N64 on your phone, yeah. I'm a big fan of emulation myself. I do all of this stuff for the PS2 gauntlet on uh, real hardware, but uh, I have a couple Raspberry Pis that I, that I love dearly. <laughs> like, they're, they're great. If it helps, a certificate is easier to get in a lot of places. We'll take that instead. Yes, yes, certifications are awesome as well. I mean, depending what certification you're trying to get, they can still be a bitch to, to get. Um, a, a, a bitch as in, like, this, it can be a lot of very niche knowledge that they're expecting you to know. Uh, so just, you know, whatever certification you're getting, make sure you study up for it beforehand or whatever. That's That's all. You think I'm trying too hard to curve and aim it, so maybe just try to, like, shoot straight a little bit more? Because, like, I can't... I can't... This is as, as small of a spin as I can put on it, is 10%. It won't let me go any lower than that. But I can try and shoot it a little bit from, like, the center, maybe a little bit more or something? I don't know, man. I'm... I fucking suck at this. That's, uh... <laughs> that should be obvious. My accuracy is also terrible, though, so, like, yeah. You're still so happy that you have a founder badge? I am too, man. It's awesome. The community has started to grow, and it's awesome to see, but I am forever thankful to, to all of you that have been here for so long now. Like, don't get me wrong. I'm super thankful to all the, the people that are coming in now and whatnot as well. 100%, man. Don't get me wrong. But, uh, the, just the, you know, yourself, Psycho... Uh, Nate, uh, Rue, Mr. Noodle, especially, like, you four especially have been here basically since the beginning, and, uh, I, I super, super appreciate that you guys still come in and say hello every once in a while, like, that's, that's awesome. Hey, Silence, what's up, man? I haven't seen you in a few days. Partially my own fault between being sick and taking a vacation and everything. Uh, but hey, it's good to see you, man. I'm happy to see you back in stream. How you been? We were just discussing the video games that we've been playing recently. So have you been playing anything interesting? I would love to hear it if you have. Also, I think I missed a message from Nate at some point. Side note, there was multiple endings for it for what? Are you talking about uh, Cyberpunk still? Like Cyberpunk has multiple endings? Let's go here. That looks pretty decent. And that was actually an accurate like hit that on the money. I think you were only a few months behind, right? I just remember coming in for the God of War stream. Yeah, God of War, and uh, we were talking about anime, and you and Nate got talking about anime. And uh, I don't know if that's what made you follow, but that's uh, that's when you followed. <laughs> yeah, it was... Uh, I don't remember like the exact month you followed or anything, but I, if I remember correctly, I started streaming seriously in either October or November of last year. Um... I've been streaming for a long time before that, but never seriously. That hence where most of my follows have come from, just from streaming different things over the years. Um, and I imagine that's why a lot of those people don't tune in much anymore, because I don't really stream the same stuff I used to. I used to do like challenge runs of some Bethesda games like uh, Elder Scrolls and stuff like that. Uh, what else have I done? I, I used to play some MMOs here and there, some multiplayer content with my brother, uh, gaming challenge with, uh, with some friends and stuff. I used to host that every once in a while. Oh, and of course the podcast, right? We've been doing the podcast for a long time. A, a lot of the followers came from, from the podcast, um, from reaching out to people and, and stuff like that, et cetera, et cetera. Maybe I think we might have it. Thank you. I don't think we hit par, not even close, but like for a strike, you're looking to hit between either the one and two pins or one and three AKs. Oh, no, no, no. Uh, I understand that, Psycho. But if you look up in the top right hand corner, um, the, the, the pins aren't laid out in a standard layout. 
because of the the mode that we're playing they're just laid out in a crazy layout right like they're just all over the place and every hole quote unquote is a different layout um and the goal is just to knock them all down in as few shots as as possible um that's kind of why i've been going all over the place if it was just regular bowling, yeah, what I would do is I would just step over to the side here, uh, around here-ish. I'm no expert, but around here-ish. And then I'd be aiming right around here with a little extra spin. Something like this, maybe, is what I would be shooting for. I might be a little too far over. I think I'm a little bit too far over, honestly, but you get the point. Like, I'd be shooting for something roughly like that and then hoping that it would spin in. Yeah. Roughly, roughly like that is what I'd be trying to do if this was regular bowling. But it's uh, <laughs> it's what this game calls golf mode. <laughs> so, yeah, it's it's a thing. It's not bad. I think it would be like so many of these sorts of games. I think it would be more fun with friends, right? Than uh, than doing it on my own here. But yeah. There was a message above that one about Cyberpunk. What was the one above that one that I missed then, <laughs> Nate? You can't do coding, dude. You just can't make it make sense in your head. If you could, you'd write your own ticket. <laughs> oh, shit. This one's backwards. It's a regular bowling layout, but backwards. Uh, that's fucking weird. I don't know. Just shoot it down here-ish. Uh, anyways. And then you said... I'd rather type in ones and zeros than use .NET. <laughs> You'd rather write binary code than actually just write out code. I have for a long time, not binary, I'm not insane, but I have for a long time wanted to explore uh, writing an assembly, maybe getting like a little, uh, I don't know, like a uh, AT tiny or something and using some binary to, uh, or not binary, writing some assembly just because... Like, I'm interested in, like, the, the classic Nintendo and stuff like that, obviously. And back then, everything was written in assembly. And I'm just curious what that experience is like. And if I could get any decent at it, I would love to one day put together, like, a, a, a Nintendo game. And these days, there's, like, compilers to get modern-day, like, C++ and stuff to, to compile down to, to code that can actually run on the original Nintendo and stuff like that. There's even like uh, visual coding tools that you can use, but I uh, I don't know. I just I really want to do the the original assembly one of these days. I think that would be I think that would be fun. <laughs> you see that now? <laughs> You'd rather do cryptography, real cracking password and stuff because it's just fun. It is fun. I haven't done that since college. Um, well, that's a lie. I did do it one time. A uh, guy gave me a uh, laptop that he accidentally got locked out of because he didn't like use it for a long time and uh but it was a linux laptop so i didn't really have to like do cryptography stuff though because uh there's back doors that you can use to get into linux machines pretty easily if you have uh, access unless it's uh encrypted obviously if the drive is encrypted that's a whole nother thing but just getting into like a user account is actually relatively easy on Linux now hopefully they have a separate key for for like installing and running stuff with a uh, pseudo uh, administration privileges and stuff like that hopefully because uh, if not then yeah you can get their password pretty easily from uh, from the command line without ever even like actually logging into the machine anyways uh, but yeah no I haven't broken into a Windows machine though since I was a kid though or a kid I guess I, mean, I was a teenager, 17-ish, so kind of a kid. Not gonna lie, I'm not great at it, but it is really fun. Backdoors are friends for that. Best tool for getting into a user account on PC is Hiren's Boot CD. I don't remember if that's the tool we used or not. Is that the the one we used had, uh, like, you could load in... Um, it was a Boot CD that we used um, on a flash drive, but, you know, Boot CD, whatever. And... Uh, you could load in a dictionary of common passwords or passwords that you think it might be, and it would check those first. And then it would go through, it had uh, rainbow tables that it would go through to try and, and crack the password that way afterwards. Um, I don't remember if it was Hirons or if it was something else, though. So. 
like I said, I haven't done that since I was like 17, 18, so like 10, 11, 12 years ago, something like that. Like, so yeah, it's been a long time and I haven't had any need to break into a Windows machine since then, so I haven't really looked into it since then, to be honest. They have fixed a lot, but yeah, it's definitely got that hype train uh, Nate's message, I'm missing. Hype train let down, sadly. I'm hoping they revisit the universe and nail it on the second go. Don't expect perfection, but you'd like something on par with Witcher 3? Yeah, I, I get what you're saying, man. I, uh, I don't know. I, I think they're just better at fantasy games, like, <laughs> honestly. But, I don't know, man. I, I, I would like to see them do more with the, the, uh, whatever that game series is called, Cyberpunk World. Don't get me wrong, but I, I hope that it doesn't become, like, their main project, almost. Like, I think they should probably stick with Witcher stuff. With that being said, though, I've only ever played their worst game, Witcher 1. <laughs> I've just heard a lot of really good things about Witcher 3 and some pretty decent things about Witcher 2, so I don't know. I don't know. You download it, change the boot order, make it first, then you can delete the password, enable the default admin account, and reset it that way. Oh, cool. Yeah, I didn't know that. Yeah, I've, I've never used that one before. I've, uh... I've recovered a lot of user files for people off their machine by just using a Linux boot flash drive. Um, Cause unless their drive is encrypted, you can just pop in a Linux flash drive in the front, change the boot order, boot from that. And then from there you can just like recover all their photos and documents and all that stuff. Unless of course they have their drive encrypted. If they have their drive encrypted, that's a whole nother story. And that's where cryptography and all that stuff comes into to play. Um, to try and you know crack the password and recover the files but yeah uh anyways uh it has been roughly an hour that means twitch is going to make me run an ad here in just a couple of minutes so i'm gonna go ahead and switch on over to the break screen while we take a quick ad that way we don't have one run in the middle of the gameplay it also gives us all including myself a chance to you know stand up stretch get a drink do whatever we need to do so we will be back in like three minutes guys game or something like that but there's so many games like even ones made for teenagers or adults that just hold your hand so much in the early stages the tutorial section and i guess for people that have like never played a game before or something maybe that'd be really useful but i feel like most people at least know how to walk around and can at least figure out like maybe they wouldn't intuitively know how but they should at least be able to figure out how to jump right very cutscene heavy in the early uh, stages of the game here, though. That's always a little... Nah. I mean, if the story's good enough, then it can make up for it, but... So far from what I'm seeing, this, uh... <laughs> this game's not making up for it. Who knows, though? Maybe it ends up having an incredibly deep and rich story. I don't know. I've played a grand total of, what, four minutes of it? <laughs> All right, we're being woken up. I'm guessing we, uh, when we tripped over the rock, we got what? somewhat crushed. What's happening? Dr. Spong? Oh, it's last time. Oh, it's about time. It's about time. I haven't been banging on this gong for many hours. Gong? Bruh. The ancient healing gong of Kabooey! Your ancient healing gong? <laughs> what nonsense. Ouch! Oh, no, no, no. You be careful. You have... What is this guy's voice? You couldn't possibly understand. Well, I think you just like banging the gong. Oh, no, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. I, I didn't want to be a doctor, you know. I, uh, I was trained in the musical arts. I, I used to be at the top of my class. What, at blowing your own trumpet? Anyway, what happened? Well, how did I get here? Well, wait a minute. You gotta hear this other dude's voice. His voice is fine, again. whatever. You're not, you're not going on about that wretched dream again, <laughs> Don't you remember the mind collapse? You were pulled out from underneath all the rubble. Well, you're, you're what is this? Alive. Wait. Chess, where is she? Is she all right? Uh, uh, sit still. She's not been sit seen still. since the mind collapse, but I'm sure they're still looking for her. Well, that guard was hassling her. What if she's been arrested? No, 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 no. Young man, you don't, don't go upsetting yourself. Now, now, you're badly bruised and you no fit state to go anywhere. Now, you, you just relax and then old doctor, 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 spa, spa, take care of you. But, what? 
I can't just sit here. Well, she could be in trouble. Ouch. Oh, yes, you can. <laughs> this is one hell of a doctor, dude. Just smacking him back and forth. You feel better. I know for a fact that your head is still sore. Well, that's because you keep hitting it. <laughs> yep, exactly. I should be giving it I should be up Mr. Podberry's attending to his boy. <laughs> but, uh, I'll see you again tomorrow. <laughs> Bye. Oh, yeah. What the hell is this voice, Dude. man? Hi. You just stinky over glitch? Quackley. What the hell is stinky glitch? <laughs> Dr. Quackley, he's bringing you. It's very cute, Mr. Noodle. All right. I am back. Hello, 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 everyone. Nate said, rumor is there's a new Witcher game in the works. Semi-confirmed won't be Ger Geralt since his retirement was Blood and Wine expansion. I've heard that they are working on another one. I don't know anything about it. Um, I would be more surprised, though. It's like whenever Bethesda came out and said, you know, Skyrim or Skyrim 6. Elder Scrolls 6 is officially being or in production. Like, well, yeah, no shit, dude. Like... <laughs> As soon as you finish up one, I assume that you start work on the next one, at least like drawing up design documents, getting ideas, working on basic story stuff and whatnot. You know, like obviously you are. That's what makes you your money. That's literally your job is to make these. So like fucking come on. Uh, so yeah, like I would be more surprised if they came out and said, no, we're not working on another Witcher game. Like, that's, they're known for their Witcher games. Of course they're working on Witcher games, man. <laughs> um... Let's try a different ball real quick. Hold on. I'm sorry. I'm getting, I'm getting, uh, uh, let's try a sanded ball that should interact with the, uh, with the lane a little bit more, making it spin a little bit more probably, which I don't know if that's a good thing necessarily, but anyways, uh, so yeah, no, that I would be more surprised if they weren't is all the same. Take the hard drive out, put it in a toaster and it can be read as an external hard disk drive. That is the easiest method of file recovery for unencrypted drives. Do people call external drive enclosures toasters? Is that is that like a thing? <laughs> I I know what an external drive enclosure is, of course, um, but I've never heard it called a toaster. I can't tell if like that's what you're talking about, or if you were just making a meme because like unencrypted drives are super easy to recover files from. <laughs> I don't I don't know which one you were doing there, Psycho. Um, I, if you were talking about putting in an external drive, I usually prefer the uh, USB key method for people, um, booting into that and then just recovering to a, another external drive because whenever I'm helping someone with their computer, unless there's a hardware issue, I prefer not to tear it apart. Um, if there's a hardware issue, of course I will, but like, if it's just, you know, they need some some files recovered and then need a uh, refresh on Windows or something like that, then I would rather just, like, not touch it. <laughs> the inside of it, you know? Why, why risk it? I've built many a PC. Um, I'm very comfortable around computer hardware, but I still would rather not risk, you know, accidentally fucking something up. Um and ruining someone's hardware if I don't need to to open it up. So, yeah. Oh, so we have to get like, we have to do it in one every time. Okay, that shouldn't be too bad, I don't think. You can get all five Jurassic movies in 4K for only $40. That's actually a pretty good deal, love. That's pretty nice. You have to save that link or something like that. Not that we really need them in 4K. We already have them all in uh, regular Blu-ray, 480p, but uh, okay, so I think I kind of want to aim a little bit further over than usual, maybe. It's taking four fucking ever, though. The Elder Scrolls Six. Yeah, I mean, I kind of... Like, my brother and some other people I know were talking about, like, the game coming out when they announced it. They were like, oh, it'll probably be, like, two or three years from now. And I said, no. No, it's not going to be... <laughs> it's not going to be my estimate for, for Elder Scrolls Six. which at this point, honestly, I think my estimate's going to be wrong, too. But my estimate was 2026 for Elder Scrolls 6. Now, or 2025. Maybe I said 2025. I don't remember. It's either 2025 or 2026. Either way, though, like, I maybe, I don't know. It's hard to say. Maybe Microsoft is going to make them work on it a little bit faster. But 
I I don't know. I feel like if we leave it up to Bethesda, it's going to take a long time because they still have Starfield to get out, right? And then after Starfield's out, they'll probably take a few more years after that, at least. And Starfield's definitely not coming out this year. Maybe next year. Maybe. So we're looking at a 2023 or 2024 release for that. So I would say another two to three years at least before uh, Elder Scrolls Six comes out. So, like, that's, you know, 2026, 2027, basically, at the earliest, in my opinion. But my opinion is just that of some random dude on the internet. So who knows, man? They could come out tomorrow and be like, hey, it won't be done until 2050. Like, fuck. And <laughs> Should we just wait until the sixth, uh, sixth one comes out? This is going to get confusing because now you're talking about the sixth Jurassic World movie. And we're all talking about the sixth Elder Scrolls game. So... Uh, <laughs> but uh, yeah, probably if we're going to buy like a 4K pack or something. But if you want them in 4K, what we could do is buy all five of them that 4K pack for $40 and then just buy the new movie in 4K whenever it comes out. And, like get the special edition 4K instead of the special edition Blu-ray that we normally get for you. So I mean, like that's that's an option. Whichever, whatever you want to do, it's your your obsession, love. But like, yeah, more like seven to ten, seven to ten. We aren't getting any more. Yeah, six to they finish Starfield. Yes, yeah, very true. Fucking sucks because you don't even care about Starfield. I'm excited to see what they'll do with a space game, right? But like, I'm more excited for Elder Scrolls Six and whatever the new Fallout game is. I really, really, really like Fallout games too. I don't really talk about it a whole lot on here, I don't think. But like, I love Fallout. Fallout is, I probably honestly like Fallout more than I like Elder Scrolls. Like I, I love Fallout stuff, man. But 100 bucks says they make it a PS5 exclusive game too. Do you mean an Xbox exclusive game since Microsoft owns uh, Bethesda? Um, I, I don't know. I go back and forth on whether I think they'll make it exclusive or not. Cause like on one hand, it would kind of be dumb for Microsoft to not make it exclusive because like they paid a shit ton of money for Bethesda and that's Bethesda's largest, um, franchise. Right. So like it would be dumb for them not to, but at the same time, making it exclusive to Microsoft is going to cut sales by one third, you know, like let's look up, um, Skyrim sales per platform. Let's see the, uh, da -da -da -da. the PlayStation four copy of Skyrim was 63 63% of all sales of Skyrim uh special edition to be clear were on the PS4 at the time of the writing of the article I just pulled up at least so like it would be really dumb for Microsoft to only sell it on Xbox because then they're going to be losing out not on a full 64% because some people own more than one console right so like if they can only buy it on xbox obviously they will but that still means they're probably giving up like 40 percent of the sales that that game would normally get if they make it exclusive to xbox so like it would be really dumb for them to not make it exclusive because it's going to help push hardware but it would also be really dumb for them to make it exclusive because then this top selling franchise one of the best selling franchises of all time is going to be crippled so like i have no idea was it not announced to be an exclusive you thought it was initially? Chocobo, I uh, I don't know if they have said that. I, 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 I don't think they've come out and said that it's going to be exclusive. I think they've hinted that it will at the very least be a timed exclusive, but I'm not sure. I haven't, I haven't followed it 100%. Honestly, because the whole thing just makes me angry. Microsoft going around and buying all these companies just makes me mad. Um, and it's not because it's Microsoft. If Sony did that, I'd be mad at them too. Like, it's just, it's bad for consumers, period. There's nothing good about what they're doing for, for consumers, right? Any, any console manufacturer buying a company that makes video games is bad for business unless that company is going to go out of business without their help, right? Like Nintendo, I forget the, is it Platinum Games that made the uh, 
the the long haired demon lady games <laughs> that like she's a long long haired lady that like major badass um fuck i can't remember the name of the games but anyways bayonetta thank you bayonetta that's the one um like bayonetta two or three i forget which one platinum games i believe it was them didn't have enough money to make that game so nintendo stepped in and funded the creation of that game they paid for it to be made but because they paid for it it was exclusive to nintendo's platform right so like in that case, I'm not too mad about it because that's a game that otherwise would not have existed if Nintendo didn't step up and help out, right? But Bethesda is doing perfectly fine. Outer Scrolls 6, Starfield, uh, Fallout 5, all these games were going to be made regardless of whether Microsoft ever bought that company, ever touched Bethesda. So if they go in and make these games exclusive to Microsoft platforms, that pisses me off, right? It's the same where if Sony steps in since they bought um, the company that makes uh, da -da -da -da, the company that makes that stupid shooter game that the guy from work talks about all the time that I've never played and my mind is completely fucking blanking. Holy fuck, Nate. Tell me what game I'm talking about. <laughs> Holy shit. I can't remember the name of it. Anyways, point is, that company that Sony bought, if they then turned around and made them make their games exclusive to Sony consoles, I'd be I'll be mad at Sony too. Like it's it's bad for consumers, man. It's there's there's no way around it. Any game becoming Destiny. Destiny is the one. Thank you. Any uh any company forcing third-party developers to make exclusives uh for their console is just bad for for us for gamers you know uh so the challenge mode was was kind of neat i guess i mean it helps helps you get better at things uh i guess we'll try a tournament because that's like the only thing we haven't done yet so let's add uh i don't know let's add everybody um, so there's, there's you, uh, there's John, gotta, gotta get John, oh wait, nope, nope, that's not a, not a real person, uh, it's only me here at the moment, let's get John in here, he's gonna be very easy because he's trash, um, <laughs> let's get Bambi, good old, good old Bambi here, she can be just regular easy because, let's be honest, Bambi's pretty easy, um, uh, oh, that's it, you can only have four players, okay, and we will stop whenever uh three two one stop okay we already did egypt castle <laughs> totally random no influencing by me at all on what happened there castle yeah we're playing the castle but yeah i mean it at the end of the day though microsoft buying them has little bearing on what happens in my life honestly because uh i play on pc for the most part anyways so like you know microsoft has as has no reason to take it off pc they they release all their first party games on pc and they uh they make you know windows so <laughs> like yeah Regardless of whatever whatever happens with with those games, I'll most likely still get to enjoy them on my platform of choice. But I feel bad for the families that can only afford to buy one console, and now they have to choose between you know if they want to play God of War or if they want to play a Bethesda game, and uh, that's that's just really shitty. That's a really shitty thing, man. Honestly, fuck you, Mr. Pin. How the fuck? Uh, hi there. Um. Pro number 26. How big is this fucking tournament? Holy shit. Uh, yep, that's a strike. <laughs> Get fucked, Mr. Skeleton. Good gods, that Skelly Man is creepy. You know what game we need to play? Eternal Ring, man. I kind of want to play more of that game. An old From Software game. It was fun. Like, it... Look, is it as good as their modern day stuff? No, of course not. But like, I had fun with it, man. I want to play more of it. One of these days we will. We got to be Odin's here and then we're going to start playing some other stuff. Probably not Eternal Ring because uh, that's another long game. After Odin's Fear, we're definitely playing uh, probably a couple games that are that are shorter in length. 
and then and then we'll decide from there what to do. We uh we'll probably finish up Ratchet and Clank. I think I think that one's gonna be towards the top of the list because uh, I don't know if you know this about me, but I'm a I'm a Ratchet and Clank fan. I really like the Ratchet and Clank games. Uh, <laughs> and then. I don't know, man. The PS, yeah, yeah, yeah. The PS2 one. I mean, we already finished the PS PS5 one. Uh, I think I think we need to throw the pumpkin. Seems pretty light. Whenever it hit that pin, it kind of stopped dead in its tracks. So I think we need to either throw this one harder, or we need, oh fuck. Okay. So if we do like full strength, it fucking goes crazy, man. Uh. Anyways, yeah, yeah. PS2 Ratchet and Clank and. I'm struggling to think of games that we've played. We've played a lot, but for some reason, my mind is just blanking on every single one that we've played. Like, completely fucking blanking, dude. Good gutter. Good gutter. Yep, I like it. I like it. I'm trying to, like, throw it super hard, but it I, I suck at the same time. So, I think we need to switch. We're going to switch balls. We're going we're gonna to go to a, to a heavier ball, man. Look, if your balls aren't doing it for you, just switch balls, man. Get get a, get a new ball to play with. That's all. Seriously, what other games have we played? <laughs> Hold on, I'm looking at the list here. Ben 10, no. Uh, let's let's maybe sort by games that I actually want to finish. Short seat or sheet. Burnout Revenge. Yes, I do want to play more of that one, but I like. I don't know if that's going to be something that I finish on stream, but I do want to play more of that one. That's for sure. Urethane. Uh, Eliminator, huh? Maybe the Light Slammer. The Light Slammer seems like a pretty pretty decent, like, 12-pounder. That sounds like, you know, it's it's right there in the middle. Not too, not too heavy, not too light kind of deal. It's probably got some power behind it. Look at that. Yeah, it just smashed right through those fucking balls. Uh, the Inuyasha game? That one's decent oh resi 4 yeah we definitely do need to play resi 4 uh the spyro game i mean i like the classic spyro games more than the ps2 one that we played but like probably up there somewhere oh uh fucking crash the crash game that we played too like man i don't know <laughs> anyone who was there while i played uh crash probably like remembers that i was a little i'm a little iffy about crash games like they're they're better in my mind than than they are whenever i actually sit down to play them uh it's like i didn't hate it but i did hate it at the same time but ever since i played it i've been wanting to play more of it at the same like i don't know man crash games and me we have a weird relationship like i think i i fetishize them a little bit and not like not in a sexual way I mean, kind of, you know, who doesn't want to have sex with a bandicoot? Uh, that's weird. I don't mean that. Anyways, uh, <laughs> um, but like, because, you know, I watched some people on YouTube that, that fucking love the Crash Bandicoot games. Growing up, I had a lot of friends and stuff that loved Crash Bandicoot games. It was a mascot character for the, for the PlayStation and whatnot. So like, there's this like thing in my mind that says that Crash is good, that, that, you know, it's a good series of good games and whatnot. And then every one that I've actually sat down and played have been mediocre at best outside of the... Oh, fuck you, game. Outside of the animations. The animation quality in those games is phenomenal. Like, absolutely. Man, they do a great job with that. Um, but, like, the actual gameplay and stuff is always just meh. Uh, but that Crash game, like, the, the way they did the soundtrack is awesome. I love the fully all acapella soundtrack that was really cool and the colorful world and the animations it, it all draws me back makes me almost want to play more of it even though like i know when i was playing it i was getting frustrated because some of the the platforming and some of the level design and whatnot just wasn't fun so but i don't know i don't know man spyro's up there towards the top of the list again not one of the best games the ps2 version but still Spyro's up there, um, Ty the Tasmanian Tiger, Ratchet and Clank. There's actually a fair few that we've played that I wouldn't mind finishing up on stream. Uh, where's the ones that are actually like tagged want to finish? Here we go. Because these are like 
the top games. Oh, Mortal Kombat. Both the Mortal Kombat games. Uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! Duelist of the Roses. That's another one that's up there. Pac-Man World 2. That one would be pretty short, too. The Kingdom Hearts games, of course, but I've beat those like a million times. The God of War games. See, yeah, there's there's a shit ton. We'll we'll find something to play. It shouldn't be it shouldn't be too hard. <laughs> but that's still way down the line. We still have to finish up Odin's Sphere, and we're only what halfway through the story of Odin's Sphere. So we got uh we got time to to decide for sure what we want to do with that. That was some accurate fucking throwing, but it was too far to the left. I actually hit it too straight on. Assuming that it follows actual, like, uh, actual bowling physics, I hit it too straight there. I think that's the first time in my life I've ever been too straight. <laughs> Anyways... Uh, what else have I been doing? Man, I've been trying to read a little bit more recently because, honestly, I love reading. I just don't have much time for it. I finished up a, a, a book that was recommended to me by a, a friend of mine and someone who opts in stream every once in a great while. Um, recommended it to me. It's called The Dresden Files. And I just finished the first book in the series. And I, I ended up loving it, man. Like, it, it was really, really good. When I first started reading it, I was a little bit put off by the 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 i don't know the the main character he's kind of i don't want to call him like a chauvinist or anything but like he is kind of a he's kind of a chauvinist i guess <laughs> like the the way he would talk to and about and, and women and whatnot was just very old school i guess you you could call it and uh i i just wasn't that into that um part of it a bucket what is a bucket Anyways, I wasn't that and a chauvinist. Um, do you do you do you do you want the the definition for it? Hold on, I will pick up the. Uh, you know what? I know the word, but I don't know the like spelling. There we go. Go. <laughs> a person displaying a aggressive or exag exaggerated patriotism, um, and like, I don't mean the patriotism, I guess, part of it, but like exaggerated um exaggerated interactions with women right like like some of it being like you know good in a sense like opening doors and things like that but the way he would talk about and two women and things like that like everything about it was a little bit aggressive uh, um not in like a, a creepy predator way but a little bit aggressive and and just a little bit you know exaggerated over the top sort of stuff um so yeah and uh anyways but the point is the more familiar i got with the character though the more i i started to like him right because like he he has a really kind heart uh and but fuck like we didn't even get to talk about what the book is about the book is about fucking magic uh so the dude's a wizard <laughs> which i feel like is a little bit important here the, what the book is actually about is uh he is a modern day wizard um and he has had some some a troubled past and because of that he is on basically uh the he's being watched by the council essentially that that governs the wizarding world you know what i mean and uh so like he he's he's in a bit of a tough spot there he has to be careful about what he does and whatnot, but he's trying to make a living like in New York City or wherever it is that he lives. I don't remember exactly. And so like, but he's a wizard. Like there's not a whole lot of money to be made as a wizard unless you're doing like shows and stuff, but obviously that's not his thing. So he opens up his own private investigation business and he helps out the police sometimes. Long story short, he ends up being blamed for something. So he has to clear his name while trying not to die himself. And the first half of the book, like I said, I was a little bit put off by his character for the first quarter to half and everything was just kind of slow to pick up pace but around the the half to three quarter mark the book really starts to take off and it got really good like the the way the writer wrote about the the magic the spells the interaction between different spell casters and things like that um once uh like vampires and things started to to be introduced to the world too and demons and stuff like that like that started getting really cool like, because at first it was just kind of slow, 
with like there was a guy who could do magic but like no magical things were really happening but then once it started picking up pace it was really good so i would recommend it the book like a pompous ass kind of kind of but like i don't know i feel like i was being a, i'm being a bit too hard on him too like he wasn't that bad it's just something about him kind of rubbed me the wrong way but like I don't know, he kind of describes wizards as people that tend to rub people the wrong way, too, though. So, like, I don't know, man. I don't know. It's a good book. If you're into reading, um, I, I would recommend checking it out. It's it's pretty decent. I got it on Kindle for, like, a dollar. Maybe, maybe, maybe three. I don't know. It, it was it was definitely under five dollars on Kindle. I, I picked up the second one for, like, three or four dollars. So, like, they're relatively cheap on Kindle. I think the paperback copies are like five to ten dollars or something like that. They're not they're not expensive at all. Uh, do we have any options or anything? We don't. We have oil dispersion. I'm assuming that means as we play, the oil disperses on the lane. Um, so like that's that's cool, I guess. I think we have time to play one more. Do we want to do? We have the oasis and the space place. And let's do old timey, old timey area, western area, man. Let's do that. You still need to read A Court of Thorns and Roses. I am proud of myself for remembering what that stood for. I almost forgot. I do still need to read it, but I've been wanting to read the next Witcher book for so fucking long. Man, I bought it like a year ago and then got ready to read it and found out I accidentally bought the third one, <laughs> not the second one. So I never got to fucking read it. And like, yeah. So I think Witcher Book 2 is going to be the next one I read. And then I don't know if I'll be reading the next Dresden Files book or maybe A Court of Thorns and Roses book. I don't know which one I'm reading next, but you need to actually read because you don't actually read. I mean, that's that's fine. You know, I'm not one of those people that think like if you don't read, you're an idiot or some shit, you know, like <laughs> it's like any other form of entertainment some people really like it some people don't that's fine either way i um uh, i just think there's a lot of really cool stories and books that you're not going to find in video games or or television or movies or whatever you know what i mean although that's becoming less of a thing right like i'd still say television and movies so not so much like there's there's a lot of stuff in television and movies that you're just never gonna see but video game wise, because of how big the indie scene has gotten, I feel like it's uh, it's it's a lot harder or it's a lot easier to find cool and interesting worlds and, and games and things that explore topics that maybe you wouldn't expect. Um, I've also gotten into a couple of Japanese novels a lot because I find that they also cover stuff that just like we don't really have here in, in our English American writers and stuff like that. But uh, I don't know, maybe I just haven't checked out enough American readers, maybe, or readers, writers, and maybe I just got really lucky with the Japanese books that I picked up. I don't fucking know. But yeah, because there's a, I haven't read it yet, but I got a book, I Want to Eat Your Pancreas. Um, I got that one because it was written by somebody that wrote one of my favorite books of all time, but I don't remember the name of it because I'm terrible at remembering anything, especially names of things. Uh... I had that same dream again. That one. <laughs> it was written by the same author that wrote that. And uh, that is legit one of my favorite books of all time now. Uh, if I could only suggest one book for someone to read, it would probably be I Had That Same Dream Again. It is so fucking good, man. So good. And what was the other one? I can't remember the name of the other one, but there's there's another one too. And uh, also, really fucking good by, by a Japanese writer. And I, I read the, the translated copies, obviously. My Japanese is absolute garbage, so yeah. But um, they also made manga versions of a couple of those, which is pretty neat if you're into uh, manga. I haven't read those ones. I do own them, but I haven't read them yet. Rue, the only book series you ever really enjoyed was the series by Garth Nix. And the thing is, you love the series, but you can remember every detail, so rereading it would wouldn't bring any new joy yeah see i uh i guess that's one benefit of my memory being trash but with that said like once i sit down it's the same for like books video games movies tv shows anything like that like if i sit here and try to to describe it to you or tell you details about it or whatever 
I'm not going to be able to. I'm going to forget everything about it. But then once I sit down and like actually start reading it again and stuff, then I can start remembering all the details and I, I'll remember like what's about to happen and, and stuff like that. So like, yeah, I don't know. I'm, I'm not a big rereader of stuff. Um, I know Noodle has reread a couple books before. Um, the Twilight series, specifically. I'm pretty sure you've reread those books before. At the very least, she's read the the very slightly changed <laughs> versions of those books. And uh, I don't know if I could do that. Like, I don't know. I can rewatch movies and TV shows, but books take so much longer that I just don't know if I would want to spend the time to sit down and reread an entire book that i that i already somewhat remember although i did reread like 90 some percent of a book or no i did reread an entire book because i forgot so many of the details i didn't realize that i had already read the book until i was about halfway through and then i was like oh shit, i completed this book already i remember this book but i couldn't remember how it ended and i wanted to remember how it ended so i just i ended up finishing it it was a shorter book anyways only a few hundred pages so yeah so, yeah. <laughs> Court of Thorns and Rose is supposed to be getting turned into a Hulu show. Hey, that's cool. I'm excited for you. I hope you like it, love. Oh, boy, you are the opposite of that, Rue. I wish my memory was better. I really, really do. But it's not, and I don't think it ever will be. And I've just come to accept the fact that I'm never going to remember anything. <laughs> like, it is what it is, man. There's nothing I can do about it at this point. So... I mean, that's not entirely true. There is, like, uh, brain exercises you can do to try and increase your memory and uh, stuff like that. And then there's also, like, tricks you can use to remember things better and whatnot. But, like, I don't know, man. I'm probably not going to take the time to do that. <laughs> You've read the first one in three different ways? Yeah. See, I don't know if I could do that, man. It's just like, it would have to be some pretty huge changes, I think, for me to want to sit down and reread. Like, even Harry Potter is one of my favorite things of all time, and I've tried to reread the first book a couple of times, and I've only ever succeeded in rereading it once. Like, yeah. There's this book series set up in, like, a texting way you've read, like, three times. Oh, shit. I remember that. I tried to read a bit of it one time. I couldn't do it. It is so hard to read the way they have it written, man. Like, there's no way. <laughs> it's like a bunch of text messages back and forth, and they use, like, texting lingo through it all the time and whatnot, and I just can't. I can't do it. I Other than, like, LOL, I basically don't use texting lingo either. I just... I never cared for that. I use punctuation in my text. I capitalize my letters <laughs> in text. I just... I'm not, like, a grammar Nazi, but, like, I... I, I like to I like to have punctuation, man. I like my capitalization. I, I don't know. I find it a lot easier to read that way, even for like short messages and stuff like that. And like, I don't know. No, she didn't read it in three different ways. It was written in three different ways. Because the first Twilight book, there was a gender bent version. There was the original version. And then what was the third version, love? What was the what was the other the other one? Till you forget that you accepted the memory problem. Oh, shit. Memory in inception. <laughs> oh, that's right. Gender bent. And then there's Edward's side of the, the first one. Yeah. Okay. That's right. That's right. Got to really milk that franchise for every cent, man. <laughs> I just, I don't know. The texting books you loved. I can't do it, man. There's just no way. I could never read it. I read the uh, the Harry Potter stage play, and I struggled with that. The story that they wrote was good. Like, I, I like the story that they wrote for the Harry Potter stage play. But the fact that, you know, it was a script for a stage play made it hard for me to read. Like, I couldn't imagine sitting down and reading an entire book of basically just texts between people. Like, oh lord. I really want to read. I bought all of the, I bought the like box collection of the Game of Thrones uh, books on paperback. And uh, I, I, I really want to read that at some point. But because of my memory being as bad as it is, I uh, I really struggle to, to keep track of characters. Like who is who 
because I don't remember names that well, and there's just so many characters in the Game of Thrones series, and I'm not saying that's a bad thing, it just makes it hard for me to follow. And thankfully, they have the, uh, they have like a, a glossary? Um, there's a word for it, I just can't think of what it is, but like a, a list of all of the people when they're, their affiliation with the different houses and stuff like that in the back of the book, which is handy, but I just, I, like flipping to the back all the time and then flipping to the front and all that stuff, I just, I can't do it. Speaking of milking, Skyrim is coming to Tesla. Is it really? I'm not that surprised. I mean, Elon's been trying to get more and more games in Tesla. I don't understand why, honestly. Like, because how much time do you spend just sitting in your car? You know what I mean? Like, for me, at least, it's like, I feel like I sit in my car more than most people. Not as much as Nate, I'm sure. But I feel like I spend more time sitting in my car than most. Because I, I usually spend my hour lunch break in my car. Right, so that's that's almost an hour every day. And then whenever I pick up Noodle from work, I usually spend like 10, 15 minutes sitting in the car then. Um, not not always, but sometimes, you know, if she's running a little late behind or whatever. Uh, yeah, I mean, I guess that's it. But still, like, <laughs> that's like, I, I probably spend about seven hours a week just, just sitting in my car, not doing anything in particular. Um, but like, do I really want to play Skyrim for a half hour at a time? Like, I, I don't think I do. Like, that doesn't sound good to me, you know? Like, that's what mobile games are made for, and I don't like mobile games, so... <laughs> mobile games as in phone games. I do like mobile games as in, uh, like, Game Boy, and Game Boy Advance. Wow, I'm showing my age here. What do the kids play these days? <laughs> the Switch? Is that is that a thing? The Nintendo Switch, I think they call it. <laughs> Anyways. Index, yeah, baby. I guess an index, kinda, yeah. TTYL, TTFN, Later Gator. <laughs> Wonder if she ever wrote more. Oh my god. The Switch Lite, yeah. Man, explaining to people at work, like, the difference between the different Switches is so painful. Most of the time, I can explain it to people by, like, okay, the Switch Lite is basically your Game Boy, right? Whereas the Switch is like the Nintendo, but you can also play it like a Game Boy if you want. And it plays the same games both ways. But the Switch Lite, you can only play like a Game Boy. And most people are like, oh, yeah, 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 okay, I got you, right? Well, then, uh, I don't know, this was a handful of months ago. There was a, a person that came in, I don't remember, I don't remember anything about them, really. Other than the fact that I was like... I tried to give them that same explanation when they asked, like, the difference. I was like, okay, the Switch Lite is basically like a Game Boy, um, but the Switch is like a Game Boy that you can plug into your TV to play the games. And they were like, what? And I was like, so the Switch Lite is basically like a Game Boy. It's just, you know, a thing that you can play on the go. And they're like, what's a Game Boy? And I was like, oh, you've never heard of the Game Boy? Well, you know what Nintendo is, right? And they're like, no. What's, what's a Nintendo? And I was like, oh you've never played a video game before in your life, have you? <laughs> like, <laughs> so, yeah. <sighs> so that one was rough, but we got there in the end. I don't remember what they ended up buying, if anything, but yeah. There's some mobile games that would be amazing if it wasn't for microtransactions. I also hate touchscreens, though, so like I think that's a big part of the reason why I don't like them, too. Uh, I do agree that a lot of them would be better if it weren't for microtransactions, but like I, I just don't think a phone screen is a good way to play a game most of the time, right? Little puzzle games and stuff like that are fine, but, like, yeah. Um, yeah, I don't know, man. Like, I, I don't know. I'm just I'm just not a mobile gamer. I can't get that into it. The most uh, that I ever got into a mobile game was Pokemon Go by a long shot. And I probably only put, like, 20 hours into that game even. Like, I, I just couldn't get... I just can't do it. I, I'm, I'm not a... I'm not a... I think it's also because I hate being glued to my phone all the time, too. It comes from... I believe it comes from my, my mother being glued to her phone my entire life. That's not true. When I, when I was very young, cell phones weren't a thing. But, like, <laughs> at home, and when we were at home, she was basically always glued to her cell phone. And then, or I'm sorry, to her home phone. And then once we got cell phones, it was like, she was always glued to it. And I, I just, I don't know. I, I, I don't like phones. I also get really annoyed whenever I'm with someone 
and they're just talking on the phone the entire time that annoys the hell out of me man like i i hate that <laughs> Still need to watch Sarah Dessen's movie on Netflix when her books just turned into a movie. Which one? I don't know her books by name, so like it's kind of pointless to tell me which one, but I'll I'll interact anyways, I guess. I don't know. There's one more texting book, YOLO. Of course there is. Do I'd explain to someone that just because they buy a modem, they still need an ISP? Oh my god, so many times. So many times, man that has happened to me like <laughs> they come in to the store and they're like hey i need i need some internet for the house and i'm like okay cool so like do you have comcast or do you have like a, a dish based provider or, or what do you have and they're like no what's that and i was like well that's who you pay to get internet and they're like oh i thought i could just come to the store and and, and buy the box and plug it in and i'm like well yeah like yeah you can you can do that so that you don't have to pay a rental fee to the to the cable company but you still have to pay someone for internet you can't just plug in a box and get it for free and they're like oh well then what's the point of the box i'm like so you don't have to pay the rental fee didn't i just kind of tell you that like so many times have i had that have that conversation or another one of my favorites is people will come in and be like my internet's slow i need it to be faster and i'm like okay are you using the uh the modem from them from from whoever you you have your internet service through and they're like yeah i'm just they came in and hooked it up i didn't touch anything but i, I needed to be faster and i said okay um so like do you mean the wi-fi needs to be faster and they're like just all the internet and i'm like okay so like when you're right next to the modem using it and they're like the what and i said the the thing that that the cable company gave you when you're right next to it and you're using the internet is it fast enough then and they're like no it's too slow movies want to buffer and all this stuff or whatever um they don't say buffer because they don't know what that is anyways point is and i'm like okay so like i can't make your internet for you like faster for you um you have to pay them to do that like buying this box isn't magic it's not gonna just make your internet faster you have to pay for faster speeds you know the different tiers that they offer you They're like well i don't want to pay to make it faster i just want to i just want to have it be faster it's like i can't fucking it's literally impossible i can't just give you a magic box that's going to make your internet faster there's no way for me to do that i would love to do that for you and if it was possible man for me to do that i wouldn't be working here because I would just be giving everybody free fast internet all the time. <laughs> like, I don't... Fuck! I get it. Not everyone can be expected to know, you know, the ins and outs of how internet service works and things. But, like, holy shit, dude. My favorite is whenever somebody comes in with that sort of question. Like, hey, I need my internet to be faster. And I'm like, okay, who do you have? And they're like, oh, we have, uh, insert satellite uh, internet company name here. And I'm just like, yeah, they're actual garbage. There's literally nothing I can do for you. Um, sorry. <laughs> get get a new internet provider. That's what I can do to you. Oh my God. Okay. You want to know, like, this is now just uh, things that annoy uh, Christian time. Um, so the number one thing, one of the number one things that annoy the fuck out of me is whenever people come in because they want a hotspot, right? There's a lot of rural areas, like very country areas around where I live and the store that I work at provides for, right? So so people will come in and be like, hey, I can't get internet service where I'm at. I need a hotspot so that I can have some internet access. And I'm like, okay, I just want to warn you, uh, hotspots, prepaid hotspots are, are expensive. You don't get very much data for the money. Um, you might be better off going with like a, a unlimited plan through like Verizon or something like that. And they're like, no, fuck that. I don't want to deal with that. And I'm like, okay, that's fine. Well, we can hook you up with, you know, this prepaid one. Um, and you have two different options. You can buy the hotspot and they're like, yeah, that's what I want. And I was like, okay, I understand that. But, but just let me, let me tell you this. You can, you can buy the hotspot and you can pay $75 for, uh, for, I don't know, 25 gigs of hotspot data. And they're like, how much is that? And I explained to them that it's like eight Netflix movies and then they're pissed off. But anyways, the point is, so I tell them like, you can pay $75 for like 10 gigs of hotspot data, or I can give you a cell phone. The cell phone won't cost you any more than the hotspot does to buy up front. And the plan that comes with the cell phone is cheaper than $75 a month. And you get more data that you can use. And they're like, well, no, I don't want to use data on a phone. I want to use a hotspot. I'm like, the phone is also a hotspot. 
it's literally the same thing, but cheaper. If you want to, you can use it to make calls and texts, but you don't have to. They're like, well, no, I, I want a hotspot. I don't want a phone. I'm like, I understand that. You don't have to use the phone as a phone. You can plug it into the wall, sit it in the corner, and use it the same as this hotspot, but it's cheaper. You can use it as a phone in an emergency, and you get more data. And they're like, yeah, I'll take the hotspot. And I just want to fucking wring their necks. I'm like, dude, I just, it's, there's literally, why? <laughs> it's faster. It's cheaper. You can use it as a phone in an emergency. I don't know what more you want. And you get more data. You can watch more Netflix movie. Like, you can watch one extra Netflix movie for your price every month. I don't understand the fuck is wrong with you. I don't get it. I don't get it. Less frustrating, a lot less frustrating, is people that come in and still buy GPSs for their car, right? I A lot less frustrating because I understand there are people that don't have smartphones. And so maybe they want a GPS, right? But there will be a, a couple times. It hasn't happened too many times. But there have been kids roughly my age, right? Maybe a little bit younger, maybe a little bit older that come in. And they'll be playing on their smartphone. And they'll come in and be like, hey, I need a GPS. And I'm like, really? You want, you want a GPS? And they're like, yeah, yeah, I want a GPS for my car. And I'm like, you know, you can use that phone you have as a GPS, right? And they're like, yeah, but like... I don't know. I just, I want, I want a GPS because I can like put it on the car and I can see it and stuff like that. And I'm like, well, you see for $5, I can give you a cell phone mount that'll just mount it to your dash so that you can see it and stuff. And they're like, yeah, I'll take a GPS. And I'm just like, okay, <laughs> I don't, that one doesn't make me as mad, but like, yeah, exactly. Google maps exist though. So like, but Hey, you do you boo. I don't, I don't know. I, I don't. Whatever. Like I said, it doesn't make me as mad, but it's just a little bit frustrating. But yeah, whatever. I, I completely missed Nate's message forever ago. Uh, Nate said, see, I scroll through my phone a lot while talking, and it's mainly because the distraction helps with me getting socially anxious and God's sakes. I had the internet box conversation a few times. Yeah. Yeah, for real. And like, scrolling is one thing. Like, as long as you're still being attentive to the conversation that we're having, if we're having a conversation... Um, as long as you're still being attentive to, to the conversation, or if we're watching a TV show or movie or something, as long as you're still being attentive to the movie or, or whatever, you know, then it, that's fine. Like, I don't mind the scrolling. It's the talking on the phone that irritates me. And again, I think it comes back to my mother being on the phone constantly. Whenever I would be trying to talk to her or something, she'd be too busy talking to somebody for literally hours straight and it would just irk the shit out of me. Um... So, like, scrollings, that's fine. I don't really care. The only time it upsets me is, like, Noodle was really bad at this. And I'm sorry, Noodle. I love you. But you are. We'll be, like, watching a movie or TV show or something together. Or I'll be trying to talk to her. And she'll just be sitting there for, like, 20 minutes. Just scrolling through stuff on her phone. And then she'll, like, she'll like look up and be like, oh, what's happening here? Or she'll say what, like, a million times. And granted, she is deaf. So part of the saying what whenever I'm talking to her is because she's deaf. I give her credit on that. You know, that's not her fault. But I know. I know that some of that is because she's just too busy reading something on her phone. <laughs> and again, I love you, Noodle. I love you to death. But it's true. So like... As long as you're attentive and scrolling, that's fine, whatever. Or if we're not really interacting in any way, scroll the fuck away, dude. I don't care. But, like, just don't be talking on the phone. Like, if somebody calls you and you need to answer it, dude, answer it. But then you don't need to have a 30-minute conversation while, like, we were trying to watch a movie or a TV show or while we're walking through a store shopping together or driving somewhere together or something like that. Like... You know what I mean? Like, as a couple, myself and Noodle, we can't always avoid that because, you know, sometimes we just have to talk to people and we're with each other all the time. But whenever I'm hanging out, like, with a friend or something like that, somebody that I don't get to hang out with all day, every day, and then, like, we're, we're going somewhere together or, or, you know, hanging out, playing games or some shit, and then a phone call happens and they want to talk for 20 minutes, like, that sort of stuff just annoys the hell out of me, dude. I, I hate that. You hate phone calls that last more than 10 minutes for any reason? I hate phone calls in general. I just... Don't call me. 
don't text me for that. <laughs> I'm joking. I'm joking. I actually don't mind texts. I am just terrible at keeping up with with texts whenever people send me messages and things like that. Like I I'm not antisocial. I'm just ADD as fuck. So like I'll see your message and it won't be a good time to answer and then I'll forget about it for for hours and then it's awkward <laughs> to answer after that. So I just don't uh, so my, my normal go-to is whenever I see you in person again, I'll just be like, Hey, I saw your text, by the way, wasn't ignoring you, just, you know, um, then, yeah. I ignored you all day today. Yeah, yeah. I ignored her all day because I was working. <laughs> I have this thing called a job that doesn't let me send text messages all day, sadly. <sighs> Anyways, that was uh, my ranting and, and raving for a good 15 minutes now about stupidity in people. Uh, I wasn't even playing the game for <laughs> quite quite a while there. I, I don't think there's anything left for me to do in this game. It's it's fine. It's a game. It's, it's decent enough. If you really like bowling, you might like it. I like the fact that it has unlockable characters and some of those characters are stupid. Like, I like that. That's nice in a game. I wish it had more stuff to do than just just bowling the one set of challenges and then i'm assuming one golf quote unquote course um but yeah i mean it's a bowling game what what more can you really ask for i guess you were trying to get a kitty it was an emergency that is not an emergency <laughs> plus you should have known like I, I appreciate that you asked don't get me wrong but honestly, you should have known that if somebody offered you a $1,500 cat that you've been wanting since I've known you, that for free, they offered it to you for free, then like, obviously, I'm not going to say no to that. Like, that's, come on, you should know that. <laughs> more courses too, yeah, more courses too would be nice. Can't just take a cat without you being okay. Well, yeah, like, again, I, I appreciate you asking. But again, if someone offers you a $1,500 cat that you don't have and have been wanting your entire life, basically, and I promise that we could get someday, like, why would I say no to that? Why would I willingly give up the opportunity for you to get something for $1,500 cheaper, aka free, <laughs> that you've been wanting for years? Like, um, I wasn't going to say no. Communication. Again. Thank you for asking, but like, come on. You want a van cat? <laughs> I just, I just have visions of uh, the cat from Totoro in my, uh, in my head. Like, that's, uh, that's the, that's the cat that came to my mind whenever you said that. So I just, I now want a cat that I can just ride around inside wherever I want to go. Who needs uh, self-driving Teslas and shit whenever you can just have a van cat that takes you wherever you want to go? It's actually a breed. It's a real breed. Looking it up. <laughs> van cat. Images. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. I totally understand that. That's a pretty cute cat. I like that. It doesn't look too big. That's my one problem with the main coon, that noodle ones, is that those ones are fucking massive. <laughs> right? And the van cat, like, it looks like it's a pretty decent size, but it's not huge. So here's the thing that I hate in animals, right? Is when they have squished faces and, um, like, like squished in faces and, like, things that just don't seem like would ever have been natural. For, for cats, you know, ones that are like, or any animal, like ones that are so fluffy that they have to be shaved or they can die. Stuff like that just annoys the shit out of me. The smushed faces where they can't like breathe, that annoys the shit out of me. I also, I'm sorry, but I just don't find smushed faces on animals very cute either. I'm just not into that. Um, my favorite kind of cat and dog for that matter is just like the mutts, just like the mixed stand, just dog, just cat. Like, you know, those are the ones where I'm like, yeah, that's a good looking cat. That's a good looking dog. And the van cat, honestly, reminds me a lot of just a a regular mixed breed cat. Um, I mean, there's some traits here that I'm sure are kind of unique to it. Like, it looks like their, their, their back is a little bit 
like straighter and then the, like, there's a, a, a bit of a dip in it that some other cats don't necessarily have. Um, and then I don't know if it's very common in them or what, but a lot of the pictures that came up for Van Cat have two different colored eyes, which is pretty fucking cool. Like that's neat. It seems somewhat unique to them. Mancoons get up to like 30 pounds. Yeah, they're fucking huge. Like animals that were bred to be naked and risk gun cancer. Yeah, exactly. Shit like that. Like that annoys the shit out of me. And coincidentally, I also don't usually think those ones look cute. Like again, not trying to be mean to any to any animal breed or anyone who's into those cats and, and dogs and stuff like that. But you know, the like naked cats, like sphinx cats and stuff like that. I just don't find them very cute. I'm sorry. The smushed faces, I don't find that cute. I, I just, I can't get into it. I, I, I don't know. Like, again, dude, you do you. If Sphinx cats are your favorite thing in the world, get a hundred of them. I don't care, but I don't. I'm good. Like, oh, the alien dude. His name's Newton. Well, hi, alien dude. Just about every animal I think is cute, you think, or uh, that you think is cute, I think is ugly. I wouldn't say that's true. Not all of them. I don't think Maine Coons are ugly. I think just like mixed breeds are cuter. Like just just cat is cuter, but like <laughs> I don't think they're they're ugly. The Oriental short hair is cute. I've already forgotten what that looked like. Oh, the one is that that's the one with the super big ears and the bat faces. I don't think they're ugly, but yeah, I'm not a huge fan of the super big ears on them. Um, and then like the very narrow pointed faces, they remind me of something slightly demonic in nature. Like, <laughs> and like, yeah, so not, not my favorite, but like, I, I wouldn't call them ugly though. Bat ears, long faces and long legs. Oh yeah. Their legs were like unnaturally long too, weren't they? Kind of, kind of weird. The honky cat. I mean, <laughs> Hong Kong cat, what the fuck? <laughs> Anyways. On the <laughs> on the topic of Hong Kong cats, um, I think we're gonna end it here, guys. We're we're already like ten minutes over, and uh, we're just slowly derailing more and more. So <laughs> feel free to continue the conversation over on Discord if you like. Um, so yeah. Anyways, <laughs> thank you guys for coming and hanging out with me. I appreciate you all being here while I stream. It really does mean the world to me, all of you. Uh, so thank you for that. I will see you again. Tomorrow is Wednesday, so I'm off. I will see you again on Thursday with another PS2 game of some sort. In the meantime, be kind to each other. Have a good night, and bye-bye. You don't know? <laughs> That's helpful, thanks. Hey, okay, can we actually play the game now?